Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using moment distribution method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN. It is acting in the center. In the span BC also, there is a point load 12 kN. It is also acting in the center. The moment of inertia for the span AB is I. For the span BC, it is 2I. Length of the span AB is 10 meter. Length of the span BC also is 10 meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are hinged supports. The support in the point B sinks by 10 mm. The support in the point C sinks by 6 mm. The Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per mm square and the moment of inertia is given as 125 in the 10 power 7 mm power 4. The moment of inertia I is given in mm power 4. So we have to convert it into meter power 4. We know that 1 mm is 1 upon 1000 meter. But here we have power 4. So we have to divide this value by 1000 power 4. Finally we are getting the moment of inertia in meter power 4. The Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per millimeter square. We have to convert this value into kN per meter square. Here we have mm square. So we have to divide by 1000 square. When we do that, we are getting in kN per meter square. For our own convenience, let us multiply the moment of inertia and Young's modulus. When we do that, we are getting 15,000 kN meter square. The settlement at B is given as 10 mm. Let us divide 10 by 1000 so that we will get 0 0.01 meter. In the same way, let us convert the settlement at C. When we divide 6 by 1000, we will get 0 0.006 meter. In this beam, we have to find three moments, MAB, MBA and MBC. Also, we have to find three reactions, RA, RB and RC. The point C is a simply supported end. In the simply supported end, there will be no moment. So, MCB will be zero. Now, let us find the fixed end moments. First, let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN. This load is acting in the center. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. In the span AB, the support in the point B sinks by 0 0.01 meter. So, we have to find the fixed end moments due to sinking of the supports. The formula to find the fixed end moments due to sinking is 6 EA delta upon L square. The fixed end moments due to sinking will be either positive or negative. We have to find that. The fixed end moments due to sinking will be positive if the sinking occurs on the left side of the span. They will be negative 
if the singing occurs on the right side of the span in the span ab the singing occurs in the point b so the singing occurs on the right side so the fixed end moments due to singing will be negative in the formulas let us apply the values w is 24 l is 10 EI is 15,000, Delta is 0 0.01. The fixed end movements due to singing will be same for MFAB and MFBA. So we can simply apply this value here. After the calculations, we are getting MFAB and MFBA. Now let us find the fixed end movements in the span BC. In the span BC also there is a point load acting in the center. The formulas for the fixed end movements are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. In the span BC the support in the point B sinks by 0 0.01 meter. The support in the point C sinks by 0 0.006 meter. Now we have to find the net settlement. The settlement in the support B is higher than the settlement in the support C. So the net settlement occurs in the point B. To find the net settlement, we have to subtract this value by this value. When we do that, we are getting 0.004 meter. Since the net settlement occurs in the left side, the fixed end movements due to singing will be positive. In the formulas, let us apply the values. W is 12, L is 10, Delta is 0.004. For BC, the movement of inertia is 2i, so we have to multiply the EI value with 2. Here we have to be very careful. We know that the fixed end movement due to singing will be same for both the MFBC and MFCB. So we can simply enter this value here. No need to calculate again and waste the time. After the calculations, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. In the moment distribution method, we have to find the distribution factor. We have to find the distribution factor only in the joints. In this beam, there is only one joint that is the joint B. So in this joint only, we have to find the distribution factor. To find the distribution factor, we have to calculate the stiffness. Let us see the formulas to find the stiffness. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4 EI upon L. If the fair end is hinged or with the roller support, the formula is 3 EI upon L. If the fair end is continuous, the formula is 4 EI upon L. From the joint B, we have to find two stiffness values for BA and for BC. First, let us find for BA. For that, from the point B, we have to look at the point A. In the point A, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula for the stiffness is 4 EI upon L. Length of BA is 10. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BA, we are getting 0.4 EI. Now let us find the stiffness for BC. For that, from the point B, we have to look at the point C. In the point C, there is a hinged support. If the fair end is hinged, the formula for the stiffness is 3 EI upon L. The moment of inertia for BC is 2I. So instead of I, we have to apply 2I. Length of BC is 10 meter. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of BC, we are getting 0.6 EI. Now let us find sigma K. 
for that we have to add these two values after adding we are getting ei now let us find the distribution factor the formula is k upon sigma k we have found the k values and sigma k using the formula we can get the distribution factor values now let us start making the moment distribution table in the table first let us enter all of the members then let us enter the distribution factor values in the fixed ends the distribution factor will be zero so for a b it is zero in the hinged ends the distribution factor will be one so for c b it is one in the joint b we have found two distribution factor values for b a and b c let us enter them then let us enter the fixed end movements we know that in the point c there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end so mcb is zero in the table we have to make cb zero for cb the fixed end movement is 22.2 when we add minus 22.2 with this 22.2 we will get 0 so we have released cb and we have to give carry over from cb to bc when we divide minus 22.2 by 2 we will get minus 11.1 .1. now let us calculate the adjusted fixed end moments for A, B and B, A, there are no changes. For B, C, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting minus 18.9. Now, let us make the first distribution. We know that we can make the distribution only in the joints. In this analysis, there is only one joint, that is the joint B. Under the joint B, we are having the members BA and BC. For them, we have the fixed end movements 21 and minus 18.9. In the joint B, first let us make the distribution for BA. For that, we have to add these two fixed end movements and then multiply with the distribution factor at BA. When we do that, we are getting a positive value. So, we have to enter inside the table as negative. Now, let us do the distribution for BC. For that, we have to add these two fixed end movements and then multiply with the distribution factor at BC. When we do that, we are getting a positive value. So, we are entering inside the table as negative. Now let us do carry over. We cannot make carry over between BC and CB because we have released CB and made it zero. In this case, we can make the carry over only between AB and BA. For AB, there is no distribution. So we cannot make a carry over from AB to BA. For BA, we have distribution minus 0 0.84. When we divide minus 0 0.84 by 2, we will get minus 0 0.42. In this analysis, we cannot proceed further. We know that only in the joint B, we can make the distribution. Now, in the joint B, for BA and BC, there are no values, so we can't make the second distribution. Let us add the values and find the final moments. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 39.42. When we add these two values, we are getting 20.16. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 20.16. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. For MAB, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. 
for MBA we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction. Finally for MBC we got a negative value that means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let us find the reactions. First let us take the span AB and find the reactions. By taking movement about to B we can find RA by applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find rb1 now let us take the span bc and find the vertical reactions by taking movement about c we can find out rb2 by applying this rule we can find rc in the point b we have found the reaction two times let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now let us make the shear force diagram. Now let us use these formulas and make free movement diagram. Then using the end movements we can make end movement diagram. Then we have to combine the free movement diagram and end movement diagram so that we will get bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.